Hey guys, it's me, Lauren, and I know you guys have been asking for a hair tutorial. Um, you guys are always commenting on how I get my loose, um, big curls, and um, I'm excited to show you guys how I do it. So, um, the first step is to make sure that your hair is blow dried really big. Um, if you, something that's always good is to kind of flip your head over and to blow dry it from the bottom if your hair is very fine. I have very thick, coarse hair, um, so that helps out a little bit, but if you follow my tips, I, I have a feeling that yours is gonna turn out just as great. So, the first step that I do is um, I spray my hair with hairspray. I love Sebastian Schaefer, and use like a firm hold, but don't use too much of it because you don't want it to look like you have hairspray on. So I do it from the top, and then go down this side, and then I split again, and do the underneath, and do it all around. So the back of my hair, and then split, and pull up, and then underneath, and then the top, and then split, and then underneath. Okay, and I'm gonna flip over too. So, as you can see, this is kind of how Ben woke me up in the middle of the night. My hair, <laughs> like this. And then try and get all your flyaways done, too. Okay. Alright, so, once your hair is pretty hair sprayed up, the first thing that I do is I use a flat iron. And I have all of these weird little curly cues like along my hairline. They're like little like baby hairs because my hair is naturally pretty curly. So the first thing you want to do is go and um, straighten all of those little curly edges around um, your hairline. <laughs> White break. So after um, you hairspray all of your hair, what you want to do is um, go around your hairline and I have a lot of like little curly spots and also like the top of my hair always have has these weird waves here and then also um, like in the back of my hair I have like a bunch of waviness um, so I use a flat iron first and I go through my hair I always start on the last side but obviously it's up to you and I just use my fingers and straighten out the top So I'm just kind of like sectioning off different parts. Okay, now for the back part, I always, I kind of go like this, group as much as I can. And so I take it and then I split it in half. So you can see I'm taking two parts. And I'm gonna take this part off to the side and just do the bottom half of that back layer. And I go up to the root and then straight back. And only like half of the way down. Okay, now I'm gonna grab this other part of my layer. And then if you do like to tease your hair, then um, teasing the back now would be good. So this side is thicker than this side obviously, so sometimes I do two layers on this side too, just to make sure that it's super straight underneath. See how I have these waves? This is after blow drying, so I try and just not have as many at the root because then it doesn't lay flat. just so about halfway and so if you see like steam and stuff it's just kind of the product evaporating and then I kind of do like a little bit of a curl just to make sure that it still has some oomph to it so it's not just completely flat so kind of away like that okay and then I always 
leave this part for last because it's the trickier spot. Now I'm gonna go through and do my little curls here too. here too so I'm just gonna make sure that I get rid of the ones that are at the top otherwise it's just gonna make the curl look weird good okay and now remember when I told you I had that weird spot right here I just section it off pull down and then I clamp and then roll away I'm gonna take a little bit more of my hair. So a bigger section, just about there. I'm gonna try and make like a bigger swoop, but then I'm gonna touch it up later. So I go here, clamp, and away. So as you can see, the I go from being horizontal to then vertical. So clamp and then flip. And then it makes that. So I'm gonna do it one more time. So clamp straight, flip up. Okay. So, once you, oh I forgot these little spots too. So once you've straightened the top layers and um, around your hairline, then you're ready to curl. Now what I do to start curling is Put it all back, and then I don't use a clip and then go, I don't do horizontal layers like that from the beginning. Some people do that, but I just, I feel like it takes too long. So, I split my hair into two. Okay, so this is one side. My thicker side, I always leave for the end. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this side. Now, remember when I have that back section, I'm gonna go there again. And this part I'm going to deal with in a minute. So I just flip it out of the way. So I have about half of my left side in my hands. Now I'm going to take it to about by my ear and take all this and I'm going to deal with that later. So for now, I'm just going to start with this first long column. Now I'm going to take my wand and I'm going to hold it upside down. So hold it upside down and I put it behind my hair. So you always want to wrap your hair away from your face. So here's my left. Rather than going like this, no. Go behind and then wrap. Now don't go up too close. You want to be about here. So about where your eye is. Do you see like how it's starting right about eye level? That's where you want to start and then let go. Don't um, let the curl out yet. Now I'm gonna go to my next layer. And I start straight down and grab that whole section. Okay, and then I just use my fingers, I smooth it out. Now remember, behind, start at about where your eye is. So not up here, down here. Make sure you're, you're holding your hair tight and just wrap. And with this really hot wand, um, I have it turned up all the way. You want to, um, maybe your first couple times, start with um, the glove on because you'll burn your hand. I had like scars on my hand from not wearing mine. Now, once you start, you know, getting to this part where there's hair that's deeper on your neck, you're still gonna do the vertical split and take all the rest of your hair to the other side. And so now I have a ton of hair, that's too much. So you just cut it in half, okay? And pull the top part away, and you're not gonna deal with it yet. You're just gonna do the underneath. Behind, and wrap away. Okay, and keep it together, still under the ringlets. Then you, remember, you still have this hair over here. So you're gonna take that top section. Okay, now this is a lot more hair. 
So I'm gonna make sure that I hold it on a little bit longer. And make sure you keep it in the ringlets. Okay, so now for the back, this is the tricky part. So you wanna feel down the back of your head and you wanna make another section. Pull this part away. Now you have a long section and you want to split it in half. Underside away and we're gonna deal with the top part first. So I got that top section. Now this is a tricky part for me, but um, once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. So I'm just gonna curl again. Okay. And I always go back and fix up the back, so don't worry too much about it now. Now remember, I just did the top of that long section. Now I'm gonna do the bottom. So I'm just gonna take another section of the bottom. Okay, I'm still holding that same layer. I'm just gonna curl it around. So I was all worried about not having all my makeup done for you guys, but then I realized that everybody's already seen it. When you saw me at four o'clock in the morning, when Ben woke us up with my retainers in, so I was like, oh, whatever. Okay. Okay, so this is still the part that's not done. This is the part that is. Don't touch it, leave it in the ringlets for now. I'm gonna put those back now. So once again, I'm gonna take a big vertical section and then I'm gonna split it into two, right in the middle. And I'm gonna keep this part that I'm not using forward and the bottom down. Now, since I'm on the other side, I'm not gonna do this still. Now I need to rotate, remember hold it straight down. You're still gonna wrap away from your face. And then I kind of curl up a little and make it extra tight for my underneath. Now keep hanging on to this part and flip it in the back. Cause now the side that you're leaving down is the done side. Now if you remember, I did the underneath side of this cross section. So now I'm gonna take this section, this part. This is the part that always gets me because this section it's not really the back of your hair, but it's also not really the front. It's kind of this weird in-between. I don't know why, but it only bothers me on this side. But. And then I pull this part tighter again. Just twist, get it tighter. I don't know why I do the back tighter than the sides, but maybe because I can't see it. So I'm like, okay, I know that there's at least some curls back there, I don't know. Now, I have another vertical section that I'm gonna do, but I always just kind of get rid of the bottom part first on this side. So I'm just gonna, I take all of this, because there's so much hair that I want to just get the bottom done with. And I cut it in half. I take this bottom layer. And then I wrap over. But it's still away from my face. Remember just to tighten the bottom, you just roll up while you're still holding the bottom. If you see that spot on my thumb, it's from a burn from this thing, so be careful. Okay. As you can tell, I'm a little hot right now. Okay, now see how I have the, this part's done. This part, it's like this weird section. I'm just gonna take this and just get this part done with. Remember, so hold straight up and down, over. Ignore the purple lips, please. So now I'm getting up towards the front, and this side is the and this is the part that kind of that matters the most, I think. So since this part is kind of like that big, long, like swoop part, I do the underneath first. So cut it, lift up, and then you have this part underneath. Let's just get this out of the way. So now remember how I was twisting up? I don't want to do that anymore because this is the part that kind of lays flat and has more of a curl just at the bottom. Okay. Now, you can use a comb if you want. Now I'm gonna do this section. And don't worry about it being perfect because you can just go back there and touch up and I'll show you how to touch it up at the end. Okay, so remember, down, your hair's in front, wrap away from your face. And now I don't want to tighten it, I want to loosen it. 
level it down just a little. So it's about where your eyes start. The end of the black part where it meets the line, you want it to be about where your eye is. Okay, so see how that's kind of got that wave? I'm gonna fix that. So I don't like how that turned out right there because I didn't get enough of it when I went through with my flat iron. So I'm just gonna fix that part. I'm gonna keep, take that same strand again. So now I have this big like bang section. I'm gonna split it in half again. And keep this part up. Do this underneath. And now don't make it tight. Make it lower down for this part. Okay. So now it's about an inch wide, this strand. And it goes from here and then behind, it's like a little square. This is the part that you want to be more swooped. So watch what I do here. So you're gonna stick it behind again, but don't let it hit until it's right at where your eye is. You see, I ended my eyebrow right there. And wrap around. You can go up, but then loosen. Just kind of slide it down. So it turned out pretty well. Now I'm gonna go through, and there's still this one little spot that's driving me nutty. So we're just gonna fix this. And I'm gonna try not to mess with this because I want it to cool before I touch this part up if I need to. Okay, so I straightened the top part, and now I'm just taking it down a little bit lower because I didn't like how that was like. So, I'm gonna bring it all forward, and now I'm just gonna look through. Okay, so let's see how some of these, maybe I want a few of these curled a little more. And this part actually looks pretty good. This one little curl here that's kind of bothering me. Just a little much. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, um, before you shake them out, spray all over again. Okay, and while they're still in their ringlets, flip over. And when you flip over, do all of it. And do the front, everything. And then shake it out a little. And flip over. And this is gonna bother me. See that one little curl? It's driving me nuts, so. I'm just gonna straighten it out a little bit more. Right, shake it up. And then iron fluff. And just curl them in, make sure that they're all split up. Nobody wants Shirley Temple. I think this bang knows that I need to cover this zip up, this zip up but if you want to tease it, then tease it, but I just kind of like it looking natural. Okay, so that's the end of the tutorial. Um, sometimes you can go through and like if you find like one strand that's not really curled, go through and just curl it really quick. Um, but the, the biggest tip that I can teach you is to use good shampoo, use good conditioner. Um, I use a little bit of like Moroccan oil or I um, use this new Atomian oil, it's great. Um, put it in my ends especially. Um, but I try not to use too much product because the hairspray before you curl is so important and then the hairspray after it's finished. But make sure, um, I just kind of did it quickly, but one extra tip that I would do if I weren't doing a tutorial is you know how I left it in the ringlets? Leave it in the ringlets and spray and don't shake it up until you get to wherever you're going. So get dressed, you know, wherever you're going, if you're going out to get drinks with your girls or whatever. Um, leave it in the ringlets to are in the car and you get there because then they cool in the ringlets and then they'll stick there So it's not gonna go flat. So don't shake it up until your hair is completely cool That's the most important thing. This one little curl is driving me crazy <laughs> But I've had I've been eating those um, Sugar bear hair gummies and they're awesome, but it's caused so much more hair growth So my hair's gotten a lot thicker. So I've been getting these little that I need to fix, but 
But yeah, so you guys enjoy. I hope you love all this stuff. I'm going to post on my blog and I'll have all the products that I use just so you can use them too. Thank you so much.